are any obvious disadvantages to patching a blocking library to use fibers at the socket level? It's far too much effort to have to rewrite large chunks of every library just to make it a sync and fiber aware. Just use threads. Not gonna happen. Even if this was a personal project, I won't use threads, so I guess they'll just have to continue rewriting parts of a bunch of libraries as I go. Oh, wait, I remember who you are. You're the omniscient guy who needs Raffle scale and you think threads are going to stop you from servicing your Raffle millions of users. And I remember that you hate fibers for whatever reasons. I don't hate fibers, I just think a lot of people are misusing them for silly things. My boss wants a highly scalable async platform backend, and from experience, I'd rather wrap the async code in fibers than have tons of callback spaghetti. What scale are you really talking about? Because last time you just started blurting the word cloud at me, like it meant something special. Reasonably large scale, obviously not right from the beginning, but as functionality and the client base grows, it needs to scale up majorly, with interfaces to pretty much every large social media related sites on the web. Do you have any actual numbers, or is Raffle Scale really the best description of your capacity planning? I can't talk numbers, the platform is still in early development stages, but it needs to be able to make many hundreds of requests in real time. You don't know what the numbers are, and yet you're saying hundreds of requests in real time, that can work just fine using threads. Okay, let's say thousands of requests in real time per online client and that should give you a rough idea, because it's too early in development, to be able to be too specific. That just means you are doing no real projections, which means it's purely technological masturbation, and as for thousands of requests per client in real time that's more than likely a completely silly sentiment for the plain and simple reason that a particular user is unlikely to even want to read all the results of thousands of requests each time they visit. I'm not a boss, I just write the code required to make shit happen, but the data fetched over hundreds of thousands of requests will be processed to averages and some statistics. You should tell your boss to pay for some consulting from someone that's built these kinds of systems before you're already set in stone that you need Raffle Scale, which is both architecturally wrong and bad for the business. It's only because you want Raffle Scale that you seem completely certain that threads are inappropriate for your use cases. You really don't have any idea of the specifics of the system, so you cannot judge what sort of scaling is required. You don't seem to understand what sort of scaling is required either, and you clearly don't understand the difference between threads and fibers in this kind of context. I understand that threads have more overhead than fibers and any shared data would require locking and syncing. Fibers still share state, and if you monkey patch network libraries to use fibers it becomes hard to understand when your fibers are yielding, so you still need locking anyway to provide transactional mutations to shared state. Fibers do not run concurrently. That doesn't change the fact that fibers still share state, and by trying to stick a pretend synchronous API on top of things you lose a sense of where context switches are happening, and run afoul of a lot of the problems of threads, which will still scale very well. I don't care. Ruby on Rails is already multi-threaded. I don't care. JRuby and Iron Ruby already support concurrent multi-threading without any sort of global interpreter lock and Rubinius will soon support it too. This means one instance of your application will scale across multiple CPU cores. With a sync programming you need to run a separate virtual machine per CPU core. I don't care. Yehuda Katz, the fucking core developer of Rails 3, recommends that you use threads. I don't care. The Varnish cache, which is arguably the fastest and best HTTP cache available, uses threads to handle multiple concurrent connections. I don't care. MySQL, which is arguably the most popular open source database in the world, uses threads to handle multiple concurrent connections as well. I don't care. What the fucking fuck? You just can't argue with people who think they need Raffle Scale and that fibers are the only solution.